Okay, so in this video, we will find the following limit, first using the method of factoring, and then using L'Hopital's rule. So as always, let's look at what kind of case we're dealing with. Well, as x approaches 1, both x squared and x cubed are also approaching 1. 1 minus 1 is 0, so we have here a 0 over 0 case. Using first the method of factoring, so we have two polynomials, and, and they are both 0 at x equals 1, and so by the factor theorem, both polynomials must have as a factor x minus 1. So we want to factor both polynomials. Well, the first one is trivial. x squared minus 1 factors as x minus 1 times x plus 1. And again, because x cubed minus 1 is 0 at x equals 1, x minus 1 is also a factor of x cubed minus 1. The question is, well, how do we find the missing factor? Well, if you think about this, x cubed minus 1 is x minus 1 times a quadratic polynomial. Therefore, the missing factor must quite simply be x cubed minus 1 over x minus 1. And so we can find the missing factor using, of course, long division. So let's divide x cubed minus 1 by x minus 1. So what times x is x cubed? x squared. Multiply through by x squared. x cubed minus x squared. We subtract. The x cubed both cancel. Negative negative is a positive x squared. And we have a leftover of negative 1. Let's repeat. What times x is x squared? Well, positive x. Multiply through by x, x squared minus x, subtract once again. These cancel, negative negative is positive, so x, and again a leftover of negative 1. What times x is x plus 1? So 1 times x minus 1, x minus 1, and we subtract and have a remainder of 0, which means that x cubed minus 1 factors as x minus 1 times x squared plus x plus 1. And now we are essentially done. As x approaches 1, x is very close to 1, but not exactly 1. So x minus 1 is not exactly 0. So we can cancel. So we're left with the limit as x approaches 1 of x plus 1 over x squared plus x plus 1. And the limit now is trivial. As x approaches 1, x plus 1 approaches 1 plus 1, which is 2. And as x approaches 1, x squared plus x plus 1 approaches 1 plus 1 plus 1, which is 3. So now we have the answer. The limit as x approaches 1 of x squared minus x cubed min over, sorry, x cubed minus 1, is equal to 2 over 3, using the elementary method of factoring the polynomials. Well, let us repeat now, but instead of finding the limit using factoring, let us find the limit using L'Hopital's rule, as it is applicable since we have a 0 over 0 case. So we can apply L'Hopital's rule. And every time you apply L'Hopital's rule, be very explicit that you are applying indeed L'Hopital's rule. So above the equal sign, from the original limit to the new limit coming from L'Hopital's rule, write simply LH above the equal sign to specify that we are using L'Hopital's rule. So the limit stays the same. X is still approaching 1. And L'Hopital's rule says to replace the numerator by its derivative. Well, the derivative of x squared minus 1 is simply 2x. 
and do the same thing for the denominator, replacing x cubed minus 1 by its derivative, which is, of, which is of course, 3x squared. And now the limit is trivial. As x approaches 1, 2x approaches 2. And as x approaches 1, 3x squared approaches 3. And once again, we have a limit of 2 thirds. So, we can find the given limit using either factoring or L'Hopital's rule, but it's interesting to see that L'Hopital's rule gave us here a slightly shorter solution, and that's it.